What's going on guys and welcome to Lost and Found. This is what people are saying is like the most gorgeous Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. I saw my friend Eolton play this and I didn't really see him play it. Like I just kind of saw like the thumbnail. I was like, holy crap, that game is gorgeous. And I had to give it a go for you guys. Now, of course, if you guys want to see more of this, don't forget to drop a like on the video. And of course, this is the fourth video I want to say in the Five Nights giveaway where basically I'm giving away any copy of Five Nights that you guys want. Just simply comment down below what copy or what game game you guys want i'm going to be choosing one of you guys per video and i'm going to announce the winners on the fifth video or maybe the video after that actually now that i think about it um all you gotta do though is just like the video comment down below and be subscribed to the channel but let's go ahead and get into this gorgeous looking game okay so first of all we start off right here we got like some sort of strobe over there like what is there a party going on i don't know some sort of rave um obviously this flashlight you can turn it off and on it makes it look so nice like the lighting in this game is gorgeous we've got it looks like everything was kind of burned down like if you guys look at it i don't really know where this game takes place it kind of looks like fazbear fright i mean not really but like a reimagined version of it just like if you guys look around like it's really like rusty and just burnt down looking and that actually reminds me of like what people say like entered was hung down from or not entered um you know mangle and stuff like that those like wires it's actually really creepy. Okay, we got a strobe effect, right? I don't want to give any of you guys, like, any sort of, like, I don't want to affect any of you guys with that flashing light. But check this out. We have an arcade machine. I would show you guys the front of it, but that is a very bright-looking light, or a very flashy light. So let's keep going, though. This place is crazy, though. Oh, my. It's huge, too. Like, we can go that way or that way. That is really cool. Let's go in here. Oh, my God, dude. Look at these tables. These are crazy looking. These look like almost identical to how they look in the game. Like these are really nice looking. And oh, oh there's also some animatronics over there. <laughs> I like how like I come in, I'm just like, oh my god, dude, look at these freaking tables. <laughs> like forget the crazy looking animatronics here. So right here, it looks like we have Spring Bonnie, possibly, if I had to take a guess, judging by the ear and the color. And then over here we have Fred Bear, if I had to take a guess. Um, it, wow, look at these though. They're missing their eyes. And like the top of his head, but then he's like also missing his arm. But that what the heck? What is that? Did you guys see that? It like turned all white for a second. I think it was like a fog glitch or something. And then over here we have Fred Bear, at least that's who I'm guessing it is. Um he's missing his torso and the bottom part of his head. And actually, wait, you're missing you have the bottom, you're missing the top. He has the top, he's missing the bottom. You guys should just combine and form like Spring Bear or something. <laughs> Somebody make that. That'd actually be really freaking cool. Wouldn't make any sense, but it would still be really cool. <laughs> but still, check that thing out. These are some insane looking animatronics. This reminds me of like Nixon's animatronics, like Nixon's game and like all those kind of people. Like the very high up creators and stuff like that. I'm not sure how this game was made, but it is very freaking gorgeous looking. So there they are though. Let's go ahead and head on to the, some of the other parts in the map here. Um, we can either go that way or this way. Dude, this map is gigantic. Which, by the way, like I said before, this is the pre-alpha map demo. So, none of these guys are going to activate. At least, I don't think so. I mean, unless he's, like, one of those d developers that, like, lie and then activates one animatronic and just scares. But, Jesus, out of me, like, that's, that time, like, tends to happen sometimes. But, you never know. Anyway, so, right here, we have Chica. This actually looks like the one... I don't know who made... I can't remember what game it was from. I think it was the Joy of Creation. And that actually reminds me of, like, the Chica from the Woods. Like, that same sort of, like, design here. I doubt that's what it is, but holy crap dude that is insane looking i like how she kept her like her little bib there i mean i know it's like like so like sewed onto her or whatever but that's just kind of weird how that managed to stay there like that but still a very nice looking animatronic once again you got the eyes kind of bulging out of it too actually she actually has her eyes there so that's really freaking cool and of course some boxes i don't think we can really do anything over here now we can't even move them but let's continue onward into this place the further we go in the like more insane this place seems to get oh my god look how far down that goes that is so creepy oh we have a metal door here this actually looks like i can't open it but it looks like the door that you close like in five Phase one like when the animatronics appear so maybe there's like somebody on the other side of this door or something that would be freaking cool <laughs> i doubt it but that would still be really cool and then if we keep going we have another door right here once again we can't open it but i do i want to know what's on the other side of that Ooh, what's this there's an open door right here oh my god look at this stuff oh another flashing light all right let's not look at that i don't want to blind anyone <laughs> okay so oh dude look at the pizza and the paper pals oh my god dude that brings back some memories of like five phrase two and stuff like that and three that is so gorgeous wow that is that's awesome can i is there any sort of easter egg no no easter egg. all right fine i don't want there to be an easter egg anyways <laughs> over here though we have the 
desk. Let's actually go around this. And we have a little gift here and some of the little plushies from Finite at Freddy's 3, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Um, and a fan too, which it's not on for some reason. We should probably turn that on. And another Paper Pal, probably my favorite Paper Pal, it's honestly. It's like the most colorful one. And just the, the happy face on it. It's just, it's a really nice looking Paper Pal. Let's continue though and uh, continue checking things out here. This is really nice. Oh, what is it? Oh, it is a door. I knew it. So what that means is if there's if there's keys on this one to open it, that means that those over there can be open too. I mean, the keys don't work though. I'm like, I'm pressing everything on them. So we probably can't open this door just yet. And it's kind of weird. Why is there a door there when there's a pipe like blocking it? That's strange, but still let's continue onward. Another locked door. This is one, This is just so gorgeous. It's like, it's one of those games where it's like, you can just look around at it and it's just so pretty. The flashlight doesn't seem to work very well in here though. Oh, who's this? Is that, is that Funtime Freddy? No way. Wait, how do I? Oh, wait, I got to Oh my God, it is. It's Funtime Freddy and Bon Bon. Dude, look at that. That is insane. Look, I need to, oh, I got in. I don't know if we're allowed to get up here, but I did. Oh my God, look at that. That is so freaking cool. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's check this place. I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here, but we are, and that's all that matters. Let's keep going. Can I jump across? I can't. All right, I fell. <laughs> well, that was fun while we were up there. <laughs> I don't want I, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, there's nothing over there. So we have Funtime Freddy just kind of chilling back there. Wait, we have like every animatronic then. Like there's the original animatronics. There, The only one we haven't seen is the toy animatronics, but we've seen even the original animatronics. That is, what? Dude, who else is in here? I'm kind of lost too. Like this is a huge place. Oh, okay, I, I, I recognize this. This is back at the beginning. Okay, so let's go back this way. I don't think we've checked out this area yet. Like, we've been over here, but we never actually, like, walked past. Like, you can keep going after you leave this area. So let's go ahead and check that out. So if, if it looks like there's, like, a mixture of, like, every game from every animatronic. Like, that is crazy. Oh, my God, flashing light. I can't see. <laughs> okay, so another freaking arcade machine over here. Not really much to say here. And another door. You know what I'm thinking? Since this is just the pre-alpha map demo, if I had to tell you a guess, I'd say all of the other animatronics are probably behind these doors, unfortunately. But it looks like we've kind of explored everything. I don't know. I I want to see what's behind these doors. Like, this game has me so hyped right now. Seriously, like, I haven't been this hyped for, like, a fan game in quite a while. I mean, obviously, Finds of, or Finds of Candies 3 is coming out pretty soon here, and I'm obviously really hyped for that. But I mean, like, a newly released fan game that just comes out of nowhere. This one has me extremely hyped right now. Now, I mean, we haven't been attacked by any animatronics yet. We haven't, like, seen most of the story or, like, any of the story, really. But I I'm still pretty excited for it. Actually, let's just go in here. I want to see if I can just, like, touch Funtime Freddy. Oh, my God, we can. He doesn't do anything. Oh, my God, dude. I love how these animatronics look. I feel like this entire video is just me saying, oh, my God. <laughs> like, being amazed by how gorgeous this game is. But, I mean, I think that's, like, the power of Unreal Engine. Like, seriously, I think that's what this is made with. If I had to take a guess, it certainly looks like it. It reminds me heavily of that game that, you know, the Amnesia creators created? I can't remember the name of it, but it reminds me of that, strangely enough. But, yeah, I mean, we've kind of explored everything. Overall, this game is completely gorgeous. It's got a lot of hype around it right now. And it kind of just came out of nowhere. Like, it literally got uploaded last night. And then, bam, like, that's it. <laughs> like, I never heard anything about it before that. And then here it is. And it's it's pretty amazing. So, uh, I, I guess I'm going to end the video here, guys. Tell me what you think of the game in the comment section down below. Like I said before, though, I honestly think it's a really pretty game. I think it's got a lot of, you know, stuff going for it right now. I think it, it, it has the potential to be like on the level of like Nixon and all of them that create like really incredible games. But then again, it is just a pre-alpha map demo that we've been in those places. Like we've seen those games that look gorgeous and then they end up, you know, coming out and not being very good. So let's certainly hope that this one actually, you know, lives up to the hype and tell me in the comment section down below, which animatronic that you guys seen in this video is your favorite. I would definitely have to say Funtime Freddy is probably my favorite just cause it's like looking at him, he's insane looking. Like he's all beat up and like just tore up, which is just really nice looking but overall like i said before though i enjoyed this game a lot i'm looking forward to the rest of the updates and stuff like that because obviously like i said before this is just the pre-alpha map demo and i'm sure there's gonna be other demos so if you guys are looking for more coverage on this game be sure to stay tuned to the channel and subscribe down below and also drop a like on the video and tell me that you just want to see more of this game because even though i personally find this game to be gorgeous and incredibly like awesome 
I, I want to know what you guys like if you guys are interested in it too because if you guys are I will definitely cover like the new teaser images like Sinister Terminal for instance like I'll do more stuff like that I'll cover the new teaser images and the new teaser videos and stuff like that and even the new demos if you guys want it though only and I will see you guys in the next one though thank you guys so much for watching this video peace out guys Thank you.